On the eve of the blood moon at approximately 6 a.m. East Coast time, Alice Glass of the sensational pop duo Crystal Castles announced, I am reading Crystal Castles. My art and my self-expression in any form has always been an attempt towards sincerity, honesty, and empathy for others. For a multitude of reasons both professional and personal, I no longer feel that this is possible within CC. Although this is the end of the band, I hope my fans will embrace me as a solo artist in the same way they have embraced Crystal Castles. With Ethan Kath's dark, lo-fi, bit-crushed beats, to Alice Glass's primal screams mixed seamlessly with an almost melodic pop undertone, Crystal Castles was a band that greatly influenced me and many other young up-and-coming producers. From electro-punk songs like Excuse Me to massive cascading arpeggios and pap smear, even the indie rock sounding Vanish, my favorite song of course being Do Deer, Crystal Castles were never boxed into one sound. Crystal Castles lasted only one decade, and within that decade they toured countless festivals and DJed various underground raves which I was lucky enough to have seen once. In their very short career they only released three albums, without any titles. One, being an introduction of their sound and raw energy with magic sounding synths. Two, being their magnum opus that catapulted their career into the limelight. And also, they were also in that episode of Skins, so that also helped too. But three, let's pretend three doesn't exist, just kidding, it was a pretty good album. Every once in a generation, a band comes along and changes the preconceived notion of what it's like to be in a band. Crystal Castles was one of those bands. 